What's happening everybody, Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight I'm actually taking a look at one that I've been wanting to try for a while. Um, ended up finding it uh, when I went on a beer run recently. This is from Terrapin and it is their Hopsecutioner. This one actually has six hops in it. Uh, I like the, the can actually uh, is pretty cool looking too there with the uh, little kind of executioner with the hops and everything. So that's pretty pretty funny in itself. But uh, hops in here include Chinook, Simcoe, Amarilla, Cascade, Centennial, and Warrior. And if you've seen my other videos that I started doing what I call the Minute Beer Buzz, I've started breaking down some different hop styles. And I've actually done some on, I've done two on two of these hops, uh, Simcoe and Warrior. So I'll get these other ones up there at some point as well, but just try to share some of the education around the hops. Let's get this one open and get it into the glass. If you're not familiar with Terrapin, they are actually out of Georgia. And this is an IPA, obviously, right? American IPA. Gonna get that nice pour on it. See how this baby comes out. Getting a little aggressive there towards the end, ended up getting a little big, bigger head than I wanted to because I actually straightened it out before I should have. But anyway, that'll settle. But we have some pretty good clarity as we break down the appearance here. You can see a nice golden color on it, nice golden amber. To get some light behind it, I'm getting some of that nice bubble action taking place as it streams up to the nice foamy head. The head, as you can see, came out to be about a four finger head. So yeah, going straight down here will release a lot of that foaminess. So just so you're aware of that. But it does have a nice look on the head and that'll break down nice the lakes to glass, I believe. Some pretty good tight bubbles in there. As far as the aroma, yeah, I mean, it's an American India Pale Ale, so you're getting a lot of the hops. You're getting some pine, you're getting some kind of that, you know, overused word, dank, uh, dank type aroma. Getting that fruity aroma, getting grapefruit, something like maybe like a citrus, mango type notes in there as well. A little bit of a tangerine. Everything you pretty much expect with the uh, American IPA. You're pretty much getting notes on that in here. So the IBU, I think I mentioned it, maybe I didn't, but it's 71 IBU. So for all you non-hop heads out there, that might be a little bit of a turnoff to you. But as far as the flavor and the taste, yeah, if you're not a hop head, <laughs> this one may hit you a little bit. You do get that nice bitterness up front on the initial, and you do get it on the finish as you swallow. You can definitely feel the burn going down to the chest. Um, not overly harsh by any means, but you're definitely getting that hop presence. Big sting to the tip of the tongue. Carbonation actually isn't too bad as far as how it sits on the palate. Palatable in that regard, but you do feel that bubble uh, action bubbling up as you sit there and hold it before you swallow. But when you do go down, yeah, you're going to get a little bit of that burn in there. Uh, the texture, it is a, it is a nice dry texture. It does have a nice break from that initial to the finish. You do have kind of a, a crisp break in there. Uh, Body-wise, you're looking at a nice medium body uh, beer. I am getting also in that taste some of the pininess from the hops as well. Duration, it's about an average duration. It's not really an over amount of duration of that flavor that I can feel it some, but not really doing too much outside of that. I'm not getting as much into the cheek area. It's kind of staying right there. Uh, on the tongue and then down in the chest a little bit. 7.1 ABV, I'm not really getting any warmer sensation, not really tasting a ton of booze in there. Not like, like you saw, I'm having it out of can, not picking up too much of a metallic type aftertaste at all here. But I would say it might be like a little slight tinge in there, but it, nothing off-putting about it at all. You check out the head as it's going down. I mean, the head is definitely lasting for a good amount of time there on the appearance as well. And this is one of the glasses also designed for IPA beers. So all in all, it's pretty good. When you take a look at the style that is supposed to be on IPA, it definitely meets that criteria uh, well. Uh, it's not one that's going to stand out. I do like the taste on this a little bit more than some of the other ones I've had recently. I'm not getting the overkill and like that tangerine, which almost makes like that medicine type taste. Does a nice little balance there with against the malt they're using. So I would say definitely a decent one to check out. Um, and again, this is the Terrapin 
Hopsecutioner, if you're an IPA fan, I think you may enjoy this with the six hops they're actually using. Well, with that all being said, thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catch you in the next one. And as always, I appreciate uh, any time you spend watching and liking and subscribing and all that good stuff. Keep drinking good craft beers and cheers. <laughs>